This is how to find future value. We're going to go over two ways, one with our financial calculator and one using a formula. First, let's write down the information that we have. We know that our present value is $600, so that's going to be PV equals 600. We've also been told that this, um, the period of time, which is N, is going to be over 10 years. We know that we have an interest rate of 5%, so I is going to equal 5%. And then that's all. We have no payments for this one. So our formula is going to be our present value. So it's going to be 600 times 1 plus this in decimal form. So this is going to be 0 0.05. So 0 0.05. And then we're going to take our n, which is our years, and we're going to raise that um, to the tenth power. And I'll show you how to do it on the financial calculator, but not using the financial calculator menu. So we can obviously add this is 1.05, but what you're going to do to raise it to that power is we're going to enter a number, so 1.05 enter 10 and press this button there you go and then we're gonna go 600 times so right now our future value should equal 977 dollars and 34 cents and this is how to do it on your financial calculator if you have a calculator that's a little more common, like a TI-84 Plus or anything from like Texas Instruments, you can navigate to the financial calcula calculator menu by pressing apps, one, enter, and it should take you to this exact menu where you can enter your N or your I or any of the above. For this, right now we're gonna enter 600 and we're actually gonna make it negative because we want our future value to be a positive value. So to do that, we're going to press CHS, then we're going to assign it to future value. 10 is going to go into N, 0 to payments. You don't always have to enter that. And then 5, don't turn it into a decimal, is I. And then our future value is 0. What? Sorry, did I enter 600 to future value? There we go. Sorry about that, I pressed the wrong button. But N is gonna be 10, I is gonna be five, um, negative 600 to present value, and that should give you that same answer for future value. There you go.